Before revival broke out, friend, in this church, there was times I came down to this church and I would lay on the front row behind those chairs. There was no chairs up here then. I lay on the front row. And I'd come down here some morning, just put on a pair of sweatpants, never cut the lights on. And I'd hit the security system in the back and let myself in and lock the door behind me. Three or four o'clock in the morning. Something deep inside of me was calling out to the deep of God. And I said, Lord, there's got to be more. And I would come in here in this building and I would scare myself, friend. It was the stillness of that dark pre-dawn hours. Four o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, and I'd lay on that front row and I'd grab my belly and bow around like a cow. Oh, God! I need you, Lord! I would walk these floors and I would cry out loud. I knew nobody was around and I knew nobody could hear. And I'd lift my voice sometime till I would be hoarse and I'd say, God! I thank you, Lord, for the church. I thank you for the building. I thank you for my wife and children. But, oh, God, I'm dying inside. And I would say to God, if you don't come, if you don't come in this place, I can't take it. And it wasn't stress. It wasn't pressure. I had no stress and pressure like that. It was just, <clears throat> deep calling him to deep and it was a yearning in my heart for him I had I had people I didn't want people I wanted him and I just would cry out and yearn and I said God how long there's got to be more there has got to be more 